The Rufous hummingbird is one of the smaller members in a family of midgets. But despite his tiny stature, he makes one of the longest migratory journeys of any bird in the world, though it's not the longest journey in actual miles. What I mean is that he migrates from southern Mexico to, in some cases, southern Alaska, further north than any other hummingbird, and that's almost 4,000 miles. Even so, some birds cover more miles than he does. The Arctic tern goes more than 11,000 miles. But the tern is 13 inches long to the Rufus's three. Put it this way, the tern travels 51,000 body lengths, while the Rufus travels 78,000 body lengths. He migrates clockwise up the west coast of the states in the spring, sometimes as far north as southern Alaska, and then back down the chain of the Rockies after nesting season, as early as the beginning of July. And he relentlessly attempts to drive much larger hummingbirds away from feeders and flowers every mile of the way. He's a bit bigger than a calliope hummingbird and a lot more pugnacious. He's smaller than broad-tailed hummingbirds, and spoiling to take them on any time he sees one or half a dozen of them. Birding expert Pete Dunn dubs the Rufus the devil in feathers. In Rocky Mountain National Park in early July, the broad-tailed hummingbirds were still on their nesting territory when these southward-bound Napoleons invaded. They were just passing through, but they tyrannized broadtails on the broadtails' home turf. Now, all hummingbirds are aggressive, but at least when only broadtails are showing up at a feeder, peace of a sort will occasionally break out. It's usually a cardboard piece that sparks and smolders and finally fans into flame, but at least it isn't constant warfare. If there's a rufus in the area, though, it's different. He starts with mortar shells and works up to launching missiles in a jiffy. Nor does he spare the females of his own species. If he can, he'll shoo them away from feeders and prime flower patches. Here's his counterpart now. She has lots of rufus in her tail and a red splotch on her throat. Now, she will stand up to the male, and even occasionally prevail, maybe, I don't know, one time out of ten. But don't think just because she's no match for the male Rufus that she's a sweet little thing. She's equal to any four broadtail females put together. She's Calamity Jane, and she comes out with her six shooters blazing. The lady with the Rufus tail doesn't hesitate to go after a whole posse of broad-tailed hummingbirds. Here in slow-mo, watch her hit him like a pool player breaking racks of balls. If we could talk to Rufus hummingbirds, and if we called one of either sex the devil in feathers, I'm pretty sure it'd reply, thank you, that's my goal in life.